In other news this afternoon, President Trump met with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo this morning about the missing journalists in Saudi Arabia. Pompeo traveled to both Saudi Arabia and Turkey this week to get answers on the disappearance of Jamal Khashoggi. The Washington Post columnist is feared dead after entering the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. Pompeo says that he told Saudi Arabia's rulers the U.S. will wait on the outcome of their investigation before deciding how to respond. Pompeo says that he stressed the longstanding relationship between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia, but did say that he takes Khashoggi's disappearance very seriously. And now we have an update on a story that we first brought you here on Local 4 last Thursday. Dearborn police have now arrested a man, charging him in a violent attack on a Dearborn doctor. Back on October 10th, a 75-year-old psychiatrist was found beaten in his office very badly with stab wounds in both legs. Well, a few days later, Emmanuel Vaughn was arrested, and he is facing several assault charges as well as armed robbery, causing serious injury charges. Police are assuring us that this was not a random act of violence. The person we've arrested has a fairly extensive uh, uh, record. I want to emphasize that uh, this was not a random act because many people in our community were concerned. This is not a random act. The victim's family tells Local 4 that he's in stable condition in the hospital right now, but he does again have several stab wounds, severe ones, as well as head injuries from the beating that he received in that attack. But this is a vast improvement over on his condition over the past week. Vaughn will be back in court for a probable cause hearing a week from today. Safety regulators are investigating Ford pickup trucks. They're looking into 2017 F-250s and F-350s. The problem is with the power tailgates. They've opened unexpectedly while the trucks were moving. It's actually happened several times, but so far there's been no recall issued. Ford is cooperating with the investigation. We will let you know if anything changes.